Facebook, Amazon, and Google Parent Alphabet said in a letter to the SEC Friday, we believe that climate disclosures are critical to ensure that companies follow through on stated climate commitments and to track collective progress toward addressing global warming. Similar statements from BlackRock and the Business Roundtable. But this morning, Republicans on the Senate Banking Committee told the SEC to reject any proposal to implement new global warming disclosures, claiming it would discourage companies from going public. But climate risk is already a priority in in corporate America, firms like the Climate Service are running in-depth, complex climate scenarios for some of the largest corporations in the world. They look at physical risk, like floods and fires, as well as transition risk for operations and supply chain as the world changes to a lower carbon economy. It's been a really interesting evolution of the climate change conversation in corporate America over the last 24 months, I would say. So it's moved from climate risk understanding is a nice to have to a need to have. It's now seen as a business critical risk to be measured and managed. Lake says the largest growth in demand is from financial services. While companies are not yet forced to disclose climate risk, some of their largest investors like CalPERS are demanding it. You have to look at the risk management tools, and then you have to look at the metrics and the measurements associated. And through our company engagement, we want companies to disclose and be transparent with us. The biggest hurdle now is to create a standard for climate risk, how to qualify and quantify it. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.